Hello again and welcome to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. The government plans to negotiate the tax allocation to recognised religious groups, including Protestants, within the discussions about the revision for the new law of religious freedom, which is due itself to be introduced uh, within the current uh, term of uh, office and debated before the end of the current parliamentary session. It's not likely that significant changes will be made within the law to the current financial agreements, but there is willingness uh, to negotiate on this issue uh, with the recognised groups, Protestants, Muslims and Jews. Apart from the Roman Catholic Church, these three groups are seen as having a widespread and historic uh, presence in Spain, and so are, are treated differently from other minority religious groups. The Director General of Relations with Confessions, José María Contreras, in an interview with the magazine Vida Nueva, said that this has already been announced by Deputy Prime Minister Fernández de la Vega when she informed about the 0.7% increase for the Catholic Church, and also said that the government was pondering over doing the same for the other confessions, which had also signed an agreement, i.e. these groups that we've already mentioned. He's, he continued to say that the law's aim is to safeguard the agreements, uh, as Prime Minister Zapatero has said, not only the agreement with the Catholic Church, but also those signed in 1992. Uh, the new law uh, will complement all of this. So in other words, starting with the Constitution and safeguarding the agreements, it's going to make this reality fit into the system. Well, so said Contreras. Regarding uh, crucifixes uh, in schools, uh, he pointed out that neutrality is going to be maintained in public places, as is established in the Constitution, uh, but this will not affect private schools or direct grant schools. Uh, he specified that if a school is private, uh, it would be allowed to have symbols from its own religion because the constitutional system allows faith-based schools. When asked whether this new law of religious freedom will regulate the use of symbols which identify some confessions, such as Islamic veil or burqa, uh, Contreras answered that in this reform there is nothing in principle related to clothing uh, that would not belong as much to the sphere of religious freedom as it would belong to the right of privacy and one's own image. Uh, he argued uh, in that way and added that unless it affects a third party, a harmonious coexistence uh, or the bearer's dignity, then this issue will not be tackled by the new law. The first draft uh, of this law could be submitted to the Cabinet within the next few weeks, uh, before the end of June, but even so, this timetable is not established by uh, the Cabinet, but by the government's Vice Presidency. And sources from there commented that it was too soon to go into details about the future law, because we're still working on it, they said. Uh, but they added that they were committed to presenting the new bill before the summer break. Uh, the basis of the new law will be to guarantee the equality of religious groups and the neutrality of public life. Uh, it remains to be seen what that, uh, how that works out in practice for religious groups and whether that means uh, an extension of secularism uh, by default uh, as neutrality will simply mean the absence uh, of religious, um, not just symbols, but uh, influence uh, from the public arena. And also it remains to be seen whether equality really means that uh, or whether uh, one particular or perhaps a couple of particular groups uh, are favoured over others. We continue to watch and see how this new law of religious freedom will play out. Thank you for listening to Letter from England, broadcasting each week at emission.net. Goodbye.